Okay, so the first method that we're going to be teaching is a full crossover. A full crossover just essentially means we're going to be pushing and then gliding, pushing with our back leg and then gliding, and uh, it's just a little bit smoother. Sometimes if we want to accelerate fast, we turn it into a half crossover, uh, but sometimes we want to just keep it nice and slow. Most important part to any of these starts, the full crossover or the half crossover, is your butt should not be facing where you want to go. When we skate backwards, we're actually skating sideways. So I want instead for your hip to be facing where you want to go. I'm constantly telling kids, you know those toys where you wind up the backs and then they start to walk. Um, just imagine as if your legs are the same sort of way. We need them bent and we need them lined up with where I want to go. Once I line them up, it's almost like I've wound up that toy, I've wound up my legs and now they're ready to go. So now we're going to start uh, with a full, cross, uh, full C cut, nice big C cut with your right leg. As you're gliding back, begin to open up your hips, cross that leg in front, and then do an outside edge kick. And then um, that one full C cut will just give us a little bit of glide time just to, uh, again, be able to start with some momentum. A lot of players, they actually forget the C cut, and instead of doing the C cut, then the crossover, and then an outside edge kick, they actually just do a crossover and then a kick, or the C cut's actually quite small, and it's just a little bit choppy. So we want to make sure that even if it's a half crossover, there is a little bit of a C cut just so that we can get that grip and uh, we can actually turn uh, the C cut into a thrust, into a stride, into a push, and we can actually gain some momentum into it. So here, watch this. My hips are going to be facing in this direction. My toes are lined up with where I want to go to my left. I'm going to be doing a C cut. My hips will open up to about this point. I do a quick crossover, open up just a tiny bit more, and then do your outside edge kick. And as you're doing it, it should be a nice smooth glide. So here's what it looks like. <laughs> 